guys and welcome back to my channel so i am going to do an updated version on how to factorize um like equations and stuff i've actually done this before but i thought that it like did not look good at all so i'm doing this again so we are going to learn on how to factorize equations so i'm going to use the same example that i did before and this is the example so this is the example so 6x plus 4 how we're going to factorize it i've got all the steps over here which i would put in the description box so that you guys can do it so if you guys don't understand what i'm saying over here you guys can read it so you can pause it and read it as well so this is the answer two brackets three x plus two close brackets and we are going to solve it step by step so let's get started so i've written six x plus four over here so now the first step that we're going to do is find the hcf of six and four so I've written the HCF. So the HCF is the highest common factor. So you're going to write all the factors. And I've got this. So these are the factors of 6 and 4. So in your equation, you're just going to find the factors of the number that is, that is there. So if it was like, uh, let's just say, what do we say? 8x plus 12, you're just going to find the factors of 8 and 12 and then i'm going to find the highest among them which appears on both so the highest is 2 obviously so that's why it's 2 i understand it's a bit shaky because i'm just like working over here so i took out the equation which was there but it's six four so we found the hcf so now in your answer You're just going to put 2 and then brackets. So your HCF. So this is HCF. Okay. Now, the next step is you're going to divide the first number. So now you're going to divide the first. Divide first number by 2 in any any number as i said 8x plus 12 you are going to divide 8 by 2 or 6 divided by 2 so 6 divided by 2 is obviously 3 then we're going to put 3 now what's the sign over here is plus now the third step is to do the same divide second number by two i know it's a bit messy i will clear it up so that is four divided by two which is two plus two and that was the answer two three plus two and then there's a way for you to bring this back like that it's actually three x i forgot that bit but Now to bring this to this, there is a method, which I will show. But first, let me clean this up so that you guys will understand it better. So this is the easiest way we can explain on how to factorize. So this did not actually like, clear it. I will link the description on what I did before. Like this is the updated version because I've done a video of this like before itself so if you guys want to see that as well i also put it in the description box let me explain it once more so you have equation over here and the question says how to factorize so like not how to factorize factorize 6x plus 4. now the first immediate thing they're supposed to do is just if you have a working out space just write 6x plus 4. now you can just do it like this First, you write HCF, find the HCF, draw an arrow, and then the examiner will know it's 2. Or you can just circle 2, which I didn't do that, but still, 2. Then, immediately draw your brackets, because the brackets are important. We don't really know why you need the brackets, but we need the brackets. So, you put 2, I immediately put my bracket over here, because that kind of helps me, reminder, like, when I'm done plus 2, I'll close my brackets, because it can't just be like this. And then the next step is to divide it by 2, like the first number. I mean, you're going to divide both of them by 2, but in steps, you're going to divide the first number by 2. Make sure you include the x. It can be 6 plus 4x as well, or 6x plus 4. 
but um, since it's the first number which has the x, I'm also going to include that. So 6x divided by 2 is 3x. So we do 3x. Now, don't forget your sign. So what you can do is just write your plus sign over here. Um, like, if it was minus, then you, you have to make sure your signs work. But since both of them are plus, I can immediately write my plus. But this only works if it's like this scenario. If it's like minus, then you have to make sure which one is bigger or something like that. Now, your third step is divide your second number by 2. So plus 4 divided by 2, which equals to plus 2. I'm gonna do plus two because you know we can't just do three x two because that does not make sense and close your brackets now we've done the first step of this now they're asking you um to prove your answer of course this is the proof that you've done it but to make sure that your answer is correct to make sure you haven't done any like wrong stuff in your working out what you can do if you have time um like when you're doing the question paper or in your exam or stuff when like checking it this way you can actually defactorize it i, I like to call it defactorize it but it's actually called expanding but i like to call it defactorizing even though i don't know if it's actually a word or not but i like to call it defactorizing and you can actually check if you got the answer right so that this will be there obviously you can actually kind of see from here and kind of say how you're going to do it but this is how you do it so we now got the answer to 3x plus 2 with brackets and then now they're asking you how to expand it or in the scenario that i told you guys or if you want to check your answer that what you did was right this is how you're going to do it now the answer that you're going to get is so now the answer that you are going to get is 6x plus 4. Now I want you guys to pause the video and think, can you see a link over here? Okay, so now what you're going to do is kind of like the inverse of what you did. But to make things easier is you are going to multiply. Multiply that's it you're gonna multiply so so two times three x is six x sorry my handwriting is very very messy right now so two plus two times two is four then you do six x plus four did you get that See, this was so easy the first step is because you have to find the hcf but once we have the two over here, then we immediately know that we're going to do it. So whatever is on the outside, you're just going to multiply it. So if this was, I mean, it won't be right. But let me just if this was three, then you do, it will be nine x plus six. Okay. So yeah, so whatever over here, you're just going to multiply it with the first one. Write that out, duh, 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 duh. add your sign, or multiply 3 with plus 2 like that, and then you would get 6. So yeah, so this is very messy, let's clear that up. And that's how you expand and factorize. I hope this helps, I might do like an even professional one where I explain every single concept of um, expanding, factorizing, and simplifying this, but this is what I want to do. So this is part two of how to expand and simplify, where I have um, included how you're supposed to factorize it and then how to expand it. Now in my part three, I will include simplifying, expanding, and factorizing. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye.